Welcome back. Here you can see that uh, the whole process of test failover is completed and we did not find any kind of issues and errors. The first thing is prerequisites check for the test failover is successful, is starting the test failover successfully, creating the test uh, virtual machine successful. And the last option is start the virtual machine successfully. So it means that it uh, uh, test the VM, It's it create the new VM and start that VM as well. So uh, if I go back and uh, see inside my uh, replicated items, so I just need to verify a few things for you. Uh, so here you can see, is still this VM is showing that replication health is healthy which means that our on-premise infrastructure VM is running successfully and replicating its status with the Microsoft Azure VM. And here you can see cleanup test failover is pending because we are just in a process of test failover. When we're done with the process, so we can clean up this process from here as well. And here, the failover health, if you want to verify, it also shows that the failover health is healthy. So now I need to find out the virtual machines and uh, here we have the virtual machines. Yep. Here we go with the virtual machine options. And uh, if I want to verify, uh, here we go. Here, here you can see. Now this VM is running successfully and IP is automatically assigned to this VM. But the important thing is that uh, this IP is uh, the, the LAN IP, which is uh, not accessible over the uh, internet. So we just need to uh, assign this VM a public IP so we can uh, uh, then, then after assigning the public IP, uh, we can make a remote desktop connection and verify that our data is replicated on this VM or not. So in the coming episode, uh, we will connect this VM and see that our data is completely replicated on Microsoft Azure ASR process or not. So let's move with the next episode.